Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this amazing wooden facade in Revit. So this is kind of this cool wavy type facade with these separate wooden elements that create a wave going all the way through your wooden facade. And it's actually quite simple to build, it doesn't require any parametrics, any dynamo or grass copper or any of that. It's quite simple, you can create it if you know just the basics in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit, and I've got just this simple boring house, basically four walls and a bunch of windows and a little door over here. So we're going to be placing our wooden facade all over this wall over here, and then if you want, you can kind of continue and do that on all sides of this building. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to Massing and Site, and I'm going to go here to In Place Mass, select it, let's leave the name at Mass 1, and OK, so now we need to start modeling. So I'm just going to go here to Level 1, and I'm just going to type in RP for Reference Plane, and I'm just going to place one plane over here at the edge of this wall, and then I'm going to place a second one here, a third one over here, and the final one over here at the edge of this wall. Then I'm going to type in DI for dimension and place a dimension over here and just hit this EQ to make this here equal. Then we can delete the dimension if necessary. Now I'm going to select this first reference plane and name it number one, then select the second one and name it number two. This one is, yeah, you guessed it, number three and number four. Okay, so once we have these named reference planes, now we can start creating that wave effect. So I'm just going to go here to the south elevation because th that's this, this is the south elevation. So here we have, this is the, the where the facade will be on this side and it's oriented towards the west. So I'm just going to go here to model line and here we immediately get this set work plane uh, pop-up window and I'm going to choose by name and then I'm going to choose reference plane number one so we can start from there so I'm just going to go here make sure to check this draw on work plane so it doesn't accidentally start drawing on a face and make sure to uncheck 3d snapping so it doesn't snap to something you don't want so those are the only two things you need to set up and now let's start drawing so I'm just going to start from the bottom maybe extend here by I don't know like that and extend over here just by a bit, maybe a bit more. And then I'm going to switch to this spline over here and then just start creating a spline like this. And then you can go into modify, double click this and then you can edit this spline even more if necessary. Okay, so we have that spline and if I go to select, it selects everything as a closed line. So that's what we want. Now we're going to repeat that, so just go model and here you can change either reference plane by going here to set and then choosing or you can just go to line and here for the placement plane, open up this drop menu and just go select number two. Make sure that 3D snapping is unchecked and let's start from here, kind of like that. Go to here, maybe to this midpoint. And now let's switch to spline, kind of like that. I don't know, maybe do something like this. Just make it interesting and make it a different. And you can just double click on it and then you can change it around if necessary. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go to model line again, reference plane number three. Start off from, I don't know, from here. Go to here, go down here, and let's start from there. Go to this, and let's do something along these lines. And then again, you can go double click and then edit it even more if you want to kind of change the shape a bit. So let's make it like that. And finally, let's do the fourth one. So just model, make sure to select your reference plane number four, and then go in and let's start from here, go to here, go to the bottom like this, and make just make sure that each one is different. So you make 
an interesting pattern like this. And let's finish it here. Okay, so now once this is done, if we go into 3D, this is what we get. So I'm just going to hold the control key and when I press the control, you can see that the little plus up appears. So I'm just going to select all of these four planes and go create form, solid form. And this is what you get. But this, of course, looks nothing like the ones that we saw. But don't worry, now we're going to create that effect. So I'm just going to go to West Elevation like this. And here we can see our wall, but before we start modeling, we need to go back into level 1 and create another reference plane. So I'm just going to type in RP for reference plane and create one reference plane like this. And let's just name it A. Now let's go back into east elevation here. Oops, not east, west. Yeah, west elevation here. And now just go to here just a rectangle and for reference plane let's choose this one reference plane a go ok and then let's just place a rectangle over here like so just on the edge and now I'm just going to zoom in up here hit the tab select this part and I'm just going to type in 0.1 or that's 0.1 meters or 1 centimeter and then I'm just going to move it to the side so just type in MV for move and I'm going to move it by number of point 0.1. Now let's go into 3D to see what we have. So we have this over here and then just go into create form and create void form. And as you can see here it kind of created it on to this side. So you just select this red arrow and you extend it a bit over here. And now you see you have this void over here cutting through our shape. And now let's go back into vest elevation. So let's just hit the tab a couple of times till you select the void and make sure that it says mass void over here and now let's go into copy and let's copy it so I'm just going to copy it by 0.2 meters okay so once we have these voids now we can just select okay that's not what we wanted Make sure to select all voids, just hit tab and then hold the control to select all of them. Okay, so now once we have all of these selected, go copy again, make sure it multiple is selected and go from this point to this point. And then again to this point. And you go like that all the way till you get to the other side of the building. Now computers are a bit slow, Revit get, tends to be a little slow because it's kind of calculating all of the cutting that these voids are doing. Okay, now I'm finished and as you can see I've got a couple of these voids kind of sticking out and I don't need them so I'm just going to delete these two. And now let's zoom out and see what we have. So if I go into 3D, this is what we have. But the only problem is these windows over here, they're not really getting any sunlight and you, you're going to be you're going to be having trouble getting through the door with this facade. So what we need to do is we need to create even more voids just to cut this facade up a bit to let some light enter in the windows and to let people enter the building through the door. So just go to the west side and here make sure that you're on wireframe so you can see all of your windows and then just go here to rectangle make sure that you're on work plane A and just create a rectangle over this window and after you've done that go into 3D and you can actually select that rectangle go create void form and again it's going to go in the wrong direction but you just extend it to the other side like this you wait for a second okay maybe even more Okay, now if we finish, you can see now it cuts through the window. So you now you just zoom in and you select this void form. You go into vest elevation and you just type in CO for copy. Make sure multiple is selected and then you copy it over to this window. And you do basically the same thing for all other windows. Okay, and for the door over here, I'm just going to zoom in, go create a rectangle, so you kind of start from 
Uh, let's say you start from there and then you finish it somewhere over here. Okay, so we have that. Let's maybe move it to the, and if you can see it just go to wireframe let's select this rectangle and let's move it to this side over here so it doesn't cut through half of this and here it doesn't okay maybe here we can even move it to the this part so make sure that everything is aligning okay so once we have this we can just go into 3d go to the door find our rectangle go to create form create void and it's now going to be cutting through our door and just extend it a bit to this side and there you go so we have only this window over here but this is the bathroom window so I'm actually going to keep it like that so it works as a ventilation for the bathroom but nobody looks at you when you're when you're in the bathroom okay so one more thing we need to set the material for this so I'm just going to select this whole facade go into material and then search for some wood material because this looks best in wood at least in my opinion and this birch wood looks nice so just go apply okay you finish that off go finish mass and let's see what this looks like so I'm just going to go here to level 1 and let's create a 3d view 3d camera kinda like that maybe may aim it up a bit zoom in a bit kinda like that and let's see when we render what happens so just go I'm going to go with medium and let me set this at a bit higher just to have a nice rendering so let's just wait for a second and this actually looks quite amazing this this is a really effective way to create a cool wavy type facade and you can add more profiles if you want kinda to make it even wilder but let's say you want to change this so let me just go back a second so I'm just going to go into 3d select this go edit in place you can actually go here and select this this whole mass and as you can see you can now go edit profile and you can select the profile and actually change it and you can do the same thing for all profiles and even when you change the profile all of these void elements will stay in the same place and they will be cutting your facade okay so that's quite an easy way to create an amazing looking facade thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day